In this lecture, we are going to talk about assets within PIM Core. And uh, assets are everything that you are uploading, be it images, videos, zip files, Word files, Excel, and so on. All the files that you're uploading are going into the assets section of PIM Core. And the asset section is the second option here in the accordion menu. And it's very convenient because you have not only the option to upload images, you can also sort them and organize them in folders. In this lecture, I will show you how we are uploading an image and what you can do with this image and why PIM Core is a popular asset management solution. Um, in the next videos, we are going to add more assets and uh, show you how you can transform images very conveniently with the thumbnail engine that is implemented in PIM Core. Now I'm going to add an asset and upload a file and I'm using this random picture I just found on my computer. It's probably coming from Unsplash and it went through and the picture is here. Now let me remark some things here. First of all, if you are using a standard PHP installation, then you probably have to change two settings in your PHP ini file to upload images larger than two megabytes because the standard PHP installation on any Linux or Unix system has a limitation on the post size. And I'm going to show you this quickly here. Let's say I'm in my Vagrant box now and I'm gonna open the PHP ini. It's in sudo then I gonna open it with Vim. Maybe Vim is your, not your favorite editor, but I'm gonna show it to you in Vim now in etc. PHP 5, Apache 2, PHP ini. And there I'm going to search for max. It's a forward slash, and then the uh, keyword you wanna search about, return, and then you hit the N, like North Pole key until you reach uh, the word that you are looking for. And we have two things. The one is the post max size. I already set it to 256 megabytes. And we have an upload max file size, which I also set to 256 megabytes. And then I hit the double point WQ and I can save this. And then I have to restart Apache with sudo Apache control Apache CTL restart. So that is the one thing that I have to do in order to get this running. The second thing I had to change prior to this tutorial is that my images, especially my JPEG images, are sometimes not loading. And if you run into any troubles, and this is the second tip I want to give you, it has nothing much to do with assets actually, but it's the second tip I want to give you. You go to the log directory in our Vagrant example, it's in slash Vagrant slash website var log, which is the same as here, website var log, and then you just type in tail dash f start a log and then you hit a few times the return key and then you do something for example you open this image and you can see what is happening on the side on the backend side of pim core and if there's some errors then you just copy and paste the error message into google and usually the first thing that will pop up is an issue within the PIM Core GitHub repository. And the PIM Core guys are, are really quick at solving those issues. So if the issue is already solved, 
and uh, maybe there's a new version of PIMCore available, you go to the tools, you go to update, you hit yes, and then it's checking some file permissions, and then you can select a new PIMCore version if one is available. And in this case, I have selected even uh, latest unstable build. It's pretty stable for an unstable build, but um, because I had some initial troubles with my image magic version. So that's a little bit beyond the typical assets discussion. Let me continue here. So if you have images uploaded, then they will appear here in a tree view and you can hover them. You see immediately a little thumbnail of the image. If you have several images, they will all pop up here as a thumbnail and the thumbnails are cached, so they will only be generated once and then they will be super fast. This particular image has, I think, around eight megabytes and on my little scotch box, it's very quick to do. Then uh, PIMCore has integrated an image editor for the images. I usually don't use it, but you can use it. It's integrated with Avery, Aviary, it's an it's an Adobe product, and um, you can do different things. For example, you can enhance the image, or you can add any stickers if you want to. And then you hit save. and you might want to clear the thumbnails and you reload the image and voila you have the new image it will take a little bit probably you have to reload the admin panel until this thumbnail here is going to be reloaded um, you have also other options for example you can edit the metadata uh, any other properties, we are not going to talk about this. PIMCore is versioning everything. So if you're not happy with any version, you can go back to a previous version and you can see the preview here in a second. It's just loading the thumbnail. So the one that I uploaded and the one that is saved from aviary or however that is pronounced. You can give it tags and um, also notes, of course. Uh, but the most important part is here that the assets are conveniently really in a tree view and easy to organize. In the next lecture, we are going to talk about objects and I will show you how you can create data-driven websites with objects.